This video is a part of a series on how to develop embedded coder target on an ARM Cortex-A based hardware platform. We are using the ARM Cortex-A SDK to build a target for Begabone Black. So far we have registered the target and added a features to it. In the last tutorial, we added a processor in the loop or PILP feature that allows us to verify the generated code on hardware. In this tutorial, we will add the external mode feature that enables live tuning of parameters while the generated code runs on hardware. So let's get started. We'll follow these steps to add the external mode feature. We'll first add the feature, map it to the target, and then set certain properties of the target, save it, and then test it. So here we add uh, the external mode feature. Next we're going to map it. And let's take a look at the external mode uh, feature um, variable in, in MATLAB. If we look at it, it has a bunch of properties, including any source files you may need to include to when you're building um, the generated code, as well as any uh, functions you need to execute before you connect to the hardware, any setup or close functions. So we're going to set a couple of these properties. One is the source files, and then uh, as a pre-connect function, we picked uh, pause uh, as an example. We can add those properties, and then save the target, and then let's use the test infrastructure to test it. So external mode becomes really easy to implement in this case, particularly because we are reusing the TCP IP implementation and the Linux operating system support from the reference target itself. Okay, now that the test has passed, let's see this in action ourselves. So for this, I'm going to the current folder and I'm going to open a model that we've created for this exercise. A real simple model with a constant block and a gain and scope. So let's verify a couple of settings here. If the external mode has been set up correctly, then under hardware implementation, when you pick your hardware board, uh, under target hardware resources, you should see two groups uh, showing up. One is clocking is the default one, and then external mode should appear here. If it does appear here, that means your setup has, do, has been done correctly. So next, we are going to confirm that our uh, simulation mode is set to external. And then we'll simply run this model for, for 30 seconds and observe uh, the results um, on scope. So when we are running this model, it the generated code actually gets run on the hardware and we see the results um, in on the scope here. So now the execution has started. We will soon see the scope display showing a line at uh, value 2. Now because this is external mode, I could easily tune this parameter to 3 and as you can see in the scope, the result automatically jumped at 3 and then I can jump, bring it back to 2 if I want to. So that's the feature for external mode. Thank you.